What's happening, Cucumber Squid? Right, Tyler Joseph taken by sleep. I have never done this one for some odd reason. I honestly thought I had. And I, when people were asking me for this particular one, I was like, surely I've done taken by sleep by Tyler Joseph because I've done so much of his. But it just so happens that I haven't. And a lot of people have been requesting it. So you guys are right. I was wrong. I haven't done this. So yay, that's actually pretty cool because uh, I've been looking for something new to do by him. So taken by sleep. First time reacting to it, this is the only uh, decent sort of video I can actually find of his. And I always use these particular ones. Shout out to um, Tuyo Mandi uh, for that. So cool. Right, let's rock and roll, man. This is also the lyric video. Let's see what this little cool cucumber's got for me. Let's go. This is a story about a scarlet letter. Said, this is a story about a scarlet letter okay isn't that something that you actually like a, a isn't that something like, like a letter that you write at school or something like that yeah This actually just seems like he can't sleep because someone close to him has died. I'm almost feeling like it's suicide or something like that. Let's go back. I love the instrumentation on this, by the way. I think it's absolutely beautiful. You can really see that you know, it's, it's a really nice instrumentation to plug into the lyrics. However, it doesn't sound like properly mastered, obviously, but I love that. I love the authenticity of that. All Tyler Joseph stuff that are like that is like that it is like this, and I love it. It's like it shows the time that he was in and how he progressed. Like this must always stay this way. It must never get digitally remastered for me, at least. It just hit me as I lay my head down, no one around in the dark, cold night. I hear a sound in my head, repeat track of everything you've ever said. See, I hear a sound. Repeat, 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 repeat track of everything you've ever said in my head, right? To so somebody close to him, somebody close to him, who's obviously had lots of conversations with him, that he's maybe picked up that he was a bit down, uh, wasn't a, uh, um, um, uh, wasn't happy, was going through a lot of things, and now this is all playing in his head because possibly something happened to him. Must be something, but it's nothing, so I just go back to bed. It's four, crack the door to the hallway in my dreams, but it seems in my hallway. Love that. Crack the door to my hallways in my dreams. This dude with these poetic stuff, man. So it's basically so as I start to dream, as he sort of like slips into dreamland, crack the door to the hallway of my dreams. Brilliant. Just go back to bed. It's four, crack the door to the hallway in my dreams, but it seems in my hallway. Keep closing in on me, forcing me out, making me think about you're gone. I, I see so it's basically saying I'm trying to sleep so as I sort of crack the door to the hallways it feels like the hallways are closing in on me forcing me back out of my dreams back into reality right where he goes back into seeing the time again so like he wakes up again I see 405 the teary eyes and then I write the song and I just can't believe it has to be this way You know we say it seems to me that it was just the other day I saw your face, I saw your light, you ran the race, you fought the fight But now it's all bands on down for me tonight And I know it might be a little See, you fought the, you, you know, you, you ran the race, you fought the fight So this is definitely about somebody who passed away Somebody close to him, either a friend or a family member that passed away uh, f uh, from it And he's writing the song to them, this is pretty hectic though the fight, but now it's all bands on down for me tonight. And I know it might be a little selfish for me to say, but I need to know if you thought of me at all today. Cause every day, what past the place you left five days of the week, and now we're saying out the floor, and I am taking my sleep. Because now 
past 10 after 4 and I am taken by sleep. Sleep has taken me. See, uh, that line is also like I am taken by sleep. As, it's almost like I'm taken by sleep as if, but he doesn't mean by taken by sleep. So you think if, like, if I, I'm taken by sleep, it means that I actually managed to get some sleep, but he doesn't put it that way. I, I kind of feel like I'm taken by sleep as if in my sleep state, right? My mind keeps running. I'm taken by sleep because I cannot sleep. My mind keeps running while I sleep. I think it's something like that, but let me carry on. Spending hours on end deciding what I'd say to a friend if I ever saw him again. Cause I don't know if I know to want to come across the wrong way. And I don't know if I know what I know I want to see your face today. And somebody told me that I don't know if I know if I want to see your face again. Cross the wrong way. And I don't know if I know what I know I want to see. But I know I want to see your face today. See your face today. And somebody told me they saw you cry and break down. Do you know how hard that is to get around and think about? It's not like you to let emotions get the best of things, especially when everything is hanging in the air we breathe. Especially when everything is hanging in the air we breathe, and it's not like you to take everything by emotions. And the problem with that is that it's actually dangerous when people are like that. So people, this is why I say vulnerability is such, is such a, a, a powerful thing because vulnerability actually allows you to feel, it allows you to come out, it allows you to speak to people. People who are too proud and people who are too uh, um, sort of set in their ways and say, well, no, it's nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. I don't want to like talk. I don't want to see somebody. I want to talk to somebody. They bottle that in. They internalize it. And the thing is that you can do that for a while, but eventually you're only human. You are not going to be able to manage that. You are not going to be able that I've already spoken about the glass filling up. Like if you take one drop of water in an empty glass at a time, it's only one drop and one drop. This happens today, tomorrow. And if you just leave it, let it drop, drop in that glass every single day, it doesn't seem like much, but over time that glass is going to get filled up and then it's going to start overflowing right and you can't control that unless you unless you literally empty what's in that glass right you can't replace what's in that glass until you empty that and that kind of happens that works with the with, uh, positivity and negativity right so i'm gonna sit there and if i had to tell you think of a positive and a negative thing at the exact same time think at the exact same time i need you to think of a positive and a negative thing you can't because one replaces the other. You either think of a negative thing or you think of a positive thing. You can't think of them at the exact same time. And that's exactly what happens with our emotions as people is that you cannot let light in if the darkness is taking that place. You need to let the darkness out to let the light in. That's how we operate as human beings. So when you talk to people, you're letting out, you're letting out the darkness, you're letting out the negativity and you're bringing in light, you're taking in light. You cannot ever, ever have the same thing taking up the same space at the same time. It's just never going to happen. You need to replace the one with the other, right? And a lot of people struggle to break open until they eventually break down. And that breakdown could mean a suicide. And that's what that's what's so important about vulnerability. Vulnerability is a very, very powerful thing. It's a very powerful human emotion because vulnerability means that you can be open with yourself. Vulnerability means awareness. Vulnerability means that you can introspect, look at your life and say, I need to talk to somebody. And when you talk to somebody and you be vulnerable and you and you share what's going on in your life, you literally you are you are a uh, uh, um uh, removing that darkness and replacing that with light because you can never have both at the exact same time it can't happen right let's go and i just can't believe it has to be this way you know these days seem to me that it was just the other day i saw your faces all your life you ran the race you fought the fight but now it's all being torn down for me tonight and i know it might be a little selfish for me to say but i need to know if you thought of me at all today because every day we're past the place you left five days in a week and now it's sitting out to
instrumentation is absolutely beautiful. I love the instrumentation on this. I'll sing this song to you, my friend. I'll sing this song to you, my friend. I'll sing this song to you. feel that this is the only way Tyler knows how to communicate with people like that's just genuinely how I feel I kind of feel like Tyler is the kind of person he's so creative he's so he's such an outlier that I think from a social perspective from a social aspect he struggles you know to deal with people which he does you know he's got those quirks and that kind of thing he's a bit of an introvert and the only way that he can express emotion, the only way that he can talk to people is through his art. This guy is a through and through artist, right? And the only way that he can, the only way that he can um, allow himself to heal is he has to do it through his art. The only way he can, he, he, he knows how to console somebody is through his art. I don't think he's able to, I think if he actually had to sit down and have a conversation with somebody, he would really struggle with that. But if you had to write a song for somebody, I think you would see the most beautiful part of Tyler. You know what I mean? And that comes with somebody who's very, very intelligent and very, very, uh, uh, um, I'd say emotionally aware, but also emotionally shut off um, due, to, due to insecurities as well. So he literally channels everything through his art because it's the only way he feels comfortable. It's the only way he feels whole. That's... This man's just incredible. The crazy thing about this track is that it actually had it had sadness in it, but it also had acceptance in it, if that makes any sense. So it had sorrow, but there was a level of acceptance as well in the song, specifically towards the end. I kind of feel that he accepted that that is what it was. So I'm just going to sing the song to you, my friends. I, I can send you off in the best way that I can, in the best way that I know how to. So I sing a song to you, my friend, you're now in peace. Carry on. You know what I mean? So I kind of feel like it had that element, it had a, a sorrow element in it in the, in the beginning, as if he kind of wanted to see his friend, he wanted to see his face. He was reminiscing all of the, the, the things his friend was talking to him and saying things like that, trying to see if he can put two and two together. So it had a lot of sorrow, a, a lot of denial in the beginning but then towards the end of the song i kind of feel like there was acceptance that this is what it is and his friends now in peace i kind of feel friend or family member somebody this is definitely a song about somebody who passed away and i'm kind of guessing that it's suicide i'm kind of guessing that that's what i think i'm not entirely sure about the story but if anybody knows the actual story of this song let me know down below but again once again tyler joseph absolutely beautiful beautiful song and like i said the authenticity in his older stuff i absolutely love i'd never change i love you all man please stay safe please stay healthy catch you in the next one